Today we're heading over to the train station, which I recently found out is Europe's largest train station. So I thought I'd show you around. Obviously I've already been there before and I was absolutely in shock when I showed up. So it's not quite as shocking this time around, but we're gonna explore the whole thing, top to bottom, inside and out, and maybe get some food while we're over there. But don't know if this is gonna be a very long video, but either way, I'm excited to show you. This is the east entrance to Leipzig Central Station, a massive octagon-covered archway supported by artfully decorated columns. The huge windows flood the station with natural light while the staircases guide you to the main terminal. Above the doorways hang two grand clocks to remind you that you're running late for your train. And this is only one of two grand entrances. So this is the biggest train station in Europe, Leipzig. So we're gonna go over and see on uh, one of the end platforms, I think it's 24, they have all kinds of old trains that they've just parked there, so I think that'll be a little bit of fun to see. This is really cool. I mean, the first time I was ever in a train station that really shocked me was uh, in Zurich, which is actually another major train station. Yeah, ever since I first uh, came to Zurich, it was just a, a really cool experience. I'd never been to a train station quite like that before. I'd been to Grand Central Station and Union Station in Toronto, which are also massive, but it's almost like a culture here, the train stations. In France, it wasn't quite the same thing as it is here. Like, Germany's so central, so, you know, they had tons of commerce going through these train stations. That's cool, you can see some of the, the builders of the trains, like they got plaques on them. The Deutsche Reichsbahn, that was one of the builders of this train line that went between Leipzig and Dresden. Wow, these are so cool. I've never been somewhere like this. Like, it's almost like a little museum, but just nothing really stated. So yeah, when I first came into this train station in my first Leipzig video, you could see the utter shock on my face when I came out of the elevator and just looked around and it was absolutely massive. Like I was totally shocked. And at the time I didn't know that this was the largest train station in Europe and one of the largest in the world. And it's just, not only is it massive, it's just gorgeous, all these huge archways and big clocks everywhere and signs for all kinds of different food. Speaking of which, it was time to grab a bite to eat. Downstairs is a two-story shopping mall with tons of stores and more importantly, places to eat. Smoothies, sushi, pastries, pizza, doners, and sausage stands. I decided on a fricadelle and some potatoes. Food is freaking delicious. I finished up my food and headed back upstairs to explore the rest of the station. This train station has tons and tons of great history. It was actually built about 120 years ago and around the turn of the century. And at the time, it was one of the biggest train stations in the world. Now it's the biggest train station in Europe, but it's still, I think, within about the top 10 train stations in the world for size. It's mostly the biggest based on floor space not necessarily based on number of platforms or trains that leave or number of people that come on through, but you know, during World War II, it actually, half of it got demolished and it took about 20 years or so to rebuild. So even though the train station was half rebuilt, it was rebuilt in the exact same style that it was before. You know, you can still feel that real old feeling. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't feel super modern. Like they've added obviously modern amenities and signs, but it still has that kind of original feel to it, which I really, really love. All the like massive amounts of glass really make it feel nice and bright and airy in here and kind of warm, even though it's completely open air. So it is kind of chilly, but it's quite a nice feeling in here. Yeah, pretty much no matter where you end up going in Germany, you find these really interesting looking train stations. They're just absolutely filled with tons of shops and restaurants and little eateries, and they can actually be one of the best places to come and eat. 
One of the really interesting things was that at the end of every platform, there was at least one or two stands to be able to grab a quick snack before you grabbed your next train. We actually discovered on our first day here, it was a Sunday and nothing was open except for the train station. Everybody was here, they were doing their shopping, they were, you know, eating lunch and dinner and they're really, really awesome places. As great as this station is, it was time to head out, this time through the west entrance, which is almost identical to the east side. Well guys, that's all there really is to it. I'm, I know it wasn't that long of a video. But, uh, if you did enjoy the video, consider a like and a subscribe. And until next time, we'll see ya.